I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android study jams are currently taking place across North America. Community events where participants come together to follow guided code labs designed to improve development skills with a focus on app quality. We created code labs with three different tracks for new developers, experienced developers, and advanced developers that want to learn about modern Android development. Head on over to the post if you want to join an Android study jam and meet other developers. We released the fourth beta of Android 12, which takes us to platform stability. Android 12's APIs and all app-facing behaviors are finalized. And if you haven't started already, it's time to prepare any necessary app updates in time for the official release later in the year. You can try beta 4 today on your Pixel device and on selected devices from partners like Asus, OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, Sharp, and ZTE. Beta 4 is also available for Android TV with the ADT3 developer kit. The post has more information on how to get the beta and test the compatibility of your app. You can now make tiles available to your Wear OS users, providing quick access to information and actions with a simple swipe from the watch face home screen. Check out the Jetpack Tiles API Alpha to add tiles to your Wear OS app and then publish on Google Play to make the tiles available to your users. Learn more on the post. We announced the general availability of an enhanced in-context set of UI-based tools for Compute Engine users to help make troubleshooting production issues with virtual machines easier and more intuitive. You can click into any VM from the Google console and access a rich set of pre-built visualizations designed to give insights into common scenarios and issues associated with CPU, disk, memory, and live processes, enabling you to correlate between signals over a given time frame without having to navigate between different tools to perform a proper root cause analysis. Check out the post to learn more. We published a paper on SoundStream, a novel neural audio codec that extends our efforts with Lyra by providing higher quality audio and encoding more sound types, including clean speech, noisy and reverberant speech, music, and environmental sounds. SoundStream is the first neural network codec to work on speech and music while being able to run in real time on a smartphone CPU, delivering state-of-the-art quality over a broad range of bit rates with a single train model. It'll be released as part of the next improved version of Lyra. Read more on the post. We announced the Data Validation Tool, an open-sourced Python command line tool that provides an automated and repeatable solution for data validation across different environments. It uses the IBIS framework to connect to a large number of data sources, including BigQuery, Cloud Spanner, Cloud SQL, Teradata, and more, providing a standardized solution to validate newly migrated data in Google Cloud against the existing data from on-prem systems. Learn more on the post. The Solution Challenge is an annual contest presented by Google Developer Student Clubs that invites students to develop solutions for local community problems, and you're invited to the Demo Day. The top 10 finalists will showcase their solutions, and you'll get a chance to ask the team's questions, learning more about the Google technologies they incorporated. The three winning teams will be announced live, so mark your calendars for the live stream August 26th at 8 a.m. Pacific Time on the Google Developers YouTube channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Join an Android study jam and meet other developers. There's a reason why we don't do things that way. <laughs>